The easiest way to add and manage size charts in your big commerce store is to use the size charts app by Prekid. In this video, I'll show you how to install the app into your big commerce store and create your first size chart. First things first, let's log into our store. Click apps, then go to marketplace. Search for the app by name, Prekid. Select the app and then click the Get This App button. Let's install it in an already existing store. Click the Install button. The app needed access to read the products and some other data of your store. Click Confirm to allow. The app begins synchronizing the product and category data needed to create the criteria for the rules where to display each size chart. This may take some time depending on the number of products in your store. The installation has been done. Let's create our first size chart. Click the Add New Size Chart button. We only want to apply our first size chart to certain products, not to all of them. So, first, Let's define the rules and conditions by which the Prekid app will know which product pages to display this size chart. To select individual products, start typing the product name or SKU number in the input field and click the desired product. Instead of selecting products one by one, you can create a condition so that the size chart is assigned to each product that matches the condition. You can create conditions for selecting products by categories, brands, SKUs, specific words in product names, and more. You can also mix conditions using AND, OR, operators. For example, in this case, we're asking the program to assign the size chart we're creating, to three specific products, and to other products that meet all of the conditions listed. First, the product belongs to the dog's category. Second, the product name contains the word T-shirt. Third, the word women is in the product name. Let's click on the preview button and see all the products that we have selected according to these rules. Now we are ready to create a size chart layout. Here we can use building blocks to create the content of the size chart. It can consist of tables, text, images, videos, and even imported content from a Google spreadsheet. In future videos, I'll show you how to use all these blocks in more detail, but for now, to keep things simple, let's use a pre-made template imported from a Google spreadsheet. In the next step, let's name our size chart. Choose a display mode, just leave it at the default, and click the Save and Publish button. Well done! Here we can see the number of products assigned with the size chart according to the criteria we have provided. Let's check the product page. As you can see, the size chart link automatically appears here. Appearance and position can be customized. Let's now check if the size chart link is displayed on other products that do not meet the conditions we have provided. As you can see, there is no size chart link on this product page because it doesn't have the word women in its name, even though it's in the dogs category. But if we check another product that contains the word women and the word t-shirt and also belongs to the dogs category, we'll see the size chart link as expected. Please subscribe and follow us on social media for more tutorials about creating size charts, pop-ups, and other additional content using the Prekid app for big commerce stores.